So here is my wiring project of this light here. It doesn't come with a cord, so it's got three wires, a white one, and a green one, and a black one. This one is actually color color coded correctly. Black is hot, white is neutral, and the green is connected to the ground, connected to the metal body of this one. On the extension cord that I found, this three prong one, it's important that it be three prong, okay? Because you have three wires. You do want to connect the ground as well. I also have, very cunningly, one black, one white, one green. So what I need now is a wire stripper. I use this kind here, and uh, and uh, what you need to do is it's it's got some numbers here, A W G. There you can see A W G American wire gauge, 10, 12, 14, whatever else. So what you need to do strip some of this wire. This looks like 16 gauge wire. If you don't know what gauge it is, just try the biggest one, see how it works, and then work your way down from that size. There, that seems to work. Then there, and then 10 again. Sorry, 16 again. 10 would be the biggest one, it's pair of pliers. And then the last it a bit. 16, 16 there, and there. Okay, now the ends are stripped, all three, and uh, now I can connect white to white. I'm gonna connect them this way. Then I also have a plastic cone. Just, just give me a sec. There, I'm gonna make my final connection inside this box. So this is just to uh, show you what happens inside the box there, because it's hard to see. Hold the two wires together. I just do one twist on it, so they kind of stay. And then, okay, do again, because the uh, this yellow cone is uh, threaded the other way, so I just run them together like so and there they stay together that's pretty pretty strong but it doesn't withstand a whole lot of yanking as you can see so but that's what goes inside inside this box sorry and there we go the connections are made so now you know, that's what's inside these little yellow cones. They have a French name too, but don't bother. These are cones. And uh, you can also see that I added one more feature here that stops the whole thing, the whole cord from placing a load on these electrical connections. And this is a little metal clamp here. That's how it looks like. Uh, maybe this way a little more light, yeah. You can see that this screw is uh, forcing ahead a push plate and and uh, this uh, clamp is held in place by that retaining ring there that needs to be placed in it. That's important. And then put this cover plate on it and it's good to go up on top of the cabinet. And that's how the lights look like on top of the cabinet. It's pretty bright in here, and uh, from here you don't see the second metal box behind the first metal box, unless you stand on a ladder or come real close, and then you can see the quartz up there. And uh, it doesn't have a switch on it that the cord is running around, it has to be plugged in and then unplugged, that's how it works. It's uh, a lot better than before. So. Wine project done.